So you've never heard of Giardia, but your dog or cat may have it? I got you covered. Hi guys, I'm Dan, I'm a veterinarian, and today, Giardia in the cat and dog. I'm gonna cover what it is, how we diagnose it, and how a veterinarian may treat Giardia. Whoa, you're telling me Giardia is not a worm, not a bacteria or a virus? Giardia is a single-celled organism, also known as a protozoa. When the Giardia is in its trophozoite form, the form where it's very mobile and swimming around the doggy's intestines, it will set up shop on the intestinal lining. And it sits there and gets nutrition from the dog or cat at that location. Now, when it's doing that, it starts to produce babies because it wants to have a family. But they all move out pretty quickly because that trophozoite, Giardia, is just popping out little babies which are in cysts. A cyst is a way for the Giardia to live really long in the environment. And these cysts have little Giardia in them. And then these Giardias are getting pooped out of your dog. And when they land in the poop and in the soil, they can live a very long time in these little cysts, or these little housing structures. These cysts, <laughs> no joke, are very robust, very strong, and they will live for weeks to months in the environment in some of the harshest conditions. And that's how they get spread to other animals, fecal oral. Even if the poop's been cleaned up, if there's any residue, this microscopic organism can hide just on some grass that had some fecal matter there a couple hours, weeks, or months earlier. So when a new doggy or a new kitty ingests the cyst with the Giardia in it, the Giardia falls into the intestinal tract and it just breaks open and boom, you got your trophozoite cyst again with the little flagella and they're just zigzagging and swimming all over the intestine. Now you have your dog, it's been doing great its entire life, like it's the epitome, it's the essence of good health. And all of a sudden, your doggy starts having diarrhea. Giardia can cause waxing and waning off and on, just acute, very abrupt, or chronic, more long-term diarrhea. And that diarrhea can just be diarrhea. It can be so bad where the dog may lose weight and fail to thrive. And if it's really bad, the dog may even throw up sometimes. But a lot of times, it's just really stinky diarrhea. So that's when you're like, man... I cannot keep carpet cleaning all this poop out of my carpet. Or you're like, thank goodness I have hardwood floors because Spot over there is destroying them. <laughs> right? We've all been there. Your dog is just pooping everywhere. So you don't know if it's Giardia yet, but you're thinking maybe it is. So what you do is you go into the veterinary office and your veterinarian's super smart and they're going to do a handful of tests. A veterinarian may do a poop exam now and poop exams are really common, also called fecal exams, where we get a little bit of that poop. Give me that poop. Let me, let me get that. And guys, if you're able to, bring a poop sample in. Make sure it's fresh, but my goodness, that makes everyone's lives way easier if you bring a poop sample in. Because a veterinarian needs a poop sample, and most likely they're going to use a little wand to get it. So just bring a poop sample in. And they're going to get a poop sample, and they're going to put in some sugar water, because the cysts because the cysts are going to float, right? So we spin it down, and the cyst floats to the top, and you can see the Giardia under the microscope. Usually, it looks like they're looking right back at you. They're like taunting you. They're like, yeah. I've been here for like weeks making this dog have diarrhea in the living room. For weeks. Try to stop me. And we will try to stop you. Now, just because you do a poop sample and you don't see any Giardia, that does not mean there's no Giardia there. Giardia spread their cysts off and on. Just like any organisms, they're not having babies all the time. So there may be a, a break in the cyst production of the baby Giardia. Also, Giardia can be like really, really hard to find. You may scan the entire slide and miss one Giardia and then you miss your diagnosis. So just because a veterinarian says, oh, Your fecal's negative. I didn't see any parasites. Does not mean there's no Giardia. It means there's a good chance there's no Giardia, but it doesn't completely rule it out. The other thing we can do is do a, an antigen test. It's, it's a snap test that says yes or no. And when you uh, take a sample of the stool and you put it to the snap test, it takes like 15 minutes and it's going to say yes or no. This is a great way to help 
prevent missing a Giardia diagnosis. Again, if it comes back negative, they could still have Giardia. These tests are not perfect, but if you do find a positive on either one of these tests, now that you got it diagnosed, your veterinarian is going to pick some medications that fix the problem. They may pick a fenbendazole or a panicure drug. They may pick some metronidazole, also called flagyl. With that being said, a veterinarian should diagnose it and make sure it's the right medication for your doggy. And if these tests come back negative, they still may want to medicate just in case they're like, Did I miss something? If you guys have any experience with Giardia, go ahead and share. I hope this video has been super helpful. And I'd like to thank everyone who's been subscribing and watching. It really means the world to me, and thank you so much. With that being said, always rely heavily and always get a physical exam. And always go see your veterinarian before treating your doggy for any kind of problem, especially if you think it's Giardia. Diarrhea can be caused by a number of different things, from Giardia to parasites, bacteria, viruses, poof, like... Just like humans, guys, it gets complicated sometimes when you're, when you're talking about a medical problem.